back to the channel guys. This is Stranger Palooza and I'm Lola Strange. Today we are actually in Elkhart, Indiana visiting Truma, North America. So I've got Jordan here with me today and we're going to talk about five surprising things that perhaps you did not know about Truma. So the first thing you might not know about Truma is that we were founded in Germany in 1949. We came to the U.S. in 2013, so we've been here a little over 10 years serving the North American market, so U.S. and Canada. Our headquarters here in Elkhart is our corporate headquarters. It's also a service center, warehouse, and an Alda assembly because we're also the U.S. distributor for Alda hydronic heating systems. That's right. And so far as service goes, one of the cool things that we came to see is that when you're coming in for service, you actually have an overnight parking spot. Yes, we have two overnight parking spots at the back of our parking lot with full electrical hookup, no water, but you can run your AC, you can have your fridge plugged in overnight. That's great for those early morning appointments or appointments that finish up too late to really get on the road. And it's nice and quiet back here. You've got some nice trees behind you. It's, it's just a nice thing that we're able to offer to, to help provide that Simply Better service. So before we go inside, Jordan, to take a look at the fantastic building you have here, there is a connection between Truma and Harry S. Truman. Yeah, our founder, Philip Christ, was so inspired by Harry S. Truman's Marshall Plan, mm -hmm. to, which helped re-industrialize Germany after World War II, that he actually wrote Truman a letter asking if he could have his blessing to name the company after him. And he has a, there's a personalized letter that the, the founding family still has from Harry Truman giving them his blessing, so. Let's head inside. It serves as a showroom and also a waiting room for our service customers. I'll show you where the service bays are. It's right into here. So we have two full-size service bays that can accommodate up to a Class C motorhome. We do a retrofitting for the Truma Aquago, Truma Event, and the Truma Vario Heat. We can also do maintenance and warranty repairs on any Truma systems. We're able to do all of that right here on site. And so when you say retrofitting, this means that those products have to be serviced by Truma specialists. It means yeah. you cannot really do this yourselves at home, right? That is correct. Just due to the complexity of our products yeah. and the level of the quality, we do not sell direct to the end user. You have to have those aftermarket installations done either by Truma or an authorized dealer service center. So I see we've got a vehicle here today. What's happening here? Yeah, so this customer is having his rooftop AC replaced with a Truma Aventa. And the Truma Aventa is incredibly low profile. So especially on a vehicle like this, that's got a pretty high clearance to begin with. That yeah. is a really big added bonus. It's also incredibly quiet on the inside, which he says he travels a lot. And that's something that was important to him. It's also super quiet on the outside. Yeah. You can hardly hear it. And Hank and I actually had a, I did a video recently where we tested an anchor power station and at some point we thought that it was off but we went into our coach to realize that it was still fully on blast running so it is a really uh, efficient and quiet AC unit and so that's one of the installs that currently you can only have done by a Truma facility we have this facility here in Elkhart Indiana we also have a um, service center in Lakeland Florida and we have mobile technicians in Texas and Arizona that can do the Aventa install as well oh that's great mm -hmm. and I actually think we have the unit right yes, here yeah so we can see take a closer look how low profile it is that you were mentioning. Mm -hmm. On the inside, what you'll see is the, the white section, and then I guess this is the, the rooftop view mm -hmm. of it. So that's what's getting put on this camper here today, yes. right? Okay, awesome. Maybe we'll get to witness it getting halted up there. Yeah, they hoist it. It's pretty cool. Um, so not only do we service the vehicles on site, we actually, this is thing number three you should know about Truma. We have our full call center here on site as well. When you call Truma, you are talking to a Truma employee. You're not talking to some third party call center. You're talking to us right here. If you call us and we can't answer the question, we can come right downstairs to the engineering and to the service techs and get it cleared up for you. And I think that is incredible. It makes our response time super quick. So is calling the best way to reach Truma or is it email, which works best? So phone call is always good. And then we also, if you're not needing a direct response in the minute, okay. we have a contact form on our website and we do try to get back to those contact forms within two to three business days. Okay. So are we going to head upstairs and yeah. take a look at the call center? Yeah, absolutely. We made it up those flight of stairs and take a look at this view from up here. That looks amazing. 
So we're gonna step into our call center here. So here we have units that our techs can, while they're on the phone, on their headsets, they can look at these units and help walk the customer through what they need to look at for troubleshooting. So I recognize this. This looks like this is a Truma Combi. Yes, that's the Truma Combi, which you, I know are both familiar with and you're beyond, right? This is a cutaway of the Truma Vario Heat, which is our furnace that we can retrofit. It's also available from some manufacturers on the RV. This is an AquaGo. This one's cool. It's got a clear version of our mixing vessel. If I were to plug this in, you'd see those little red beads spin around okay. to show how they, it keeps the heat circulating in the water tank. That's what helps prevent the spikes in temperature at the faucet. Okay. You're never going to get a blast of scalding water or that shot of ice cold because this is constantly keeping the water heated. Okay, and this so, is the instant water heater system. Yes, this is the okay. AquaGo instant hot water so, heater. This right here is why we call it hybrid, not tankless. Okay. If we call it tankless, people think they don't need to drain this. You do still need yeah. to winterize, but all it is is opening this, this little lever, okay. popping this filter out. You gotta be a little stronger than me. And then all the water will drain right away from your coach. That means no staining on your paint, no water mm -hmm. puddling at your feet. It's gonna go that way. And you're done. And you're done. All it is is draining this little tank right here. Okay, and then that is super easy. Mm. You gotta get that O-ring right in there. There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> so it's a nice tight seal when it's in there. I see. There you go. Nice. I appreciate those guys letting us pass through their workspace. Yeah. All right, so we are back downstairs on the floor. And earlier at the beginning, you mentioned the Truma on Alda. Tell us more about that. Alda is a Swedish hydronic heating manufacturer for the RV market in Europe. And they are also part of the Truma Group parent company. Truma North America is also the US and, Can and Canadian distributor for all the hydronic heating systems here in North America. And a really cool part about that means that we get to do the assembly for the Alda units. So part of that assembly, I'm assuming, has something to do with all these pipes laid yes. up here. Yeah, so all of these straight metal pipes get bent into these fun configurations. The glycol, heated glycol, will move through these pipes and convectors inside the walls and cabinets of an RV and use convection heating instead of forced air to heat. So that means that the, the warm air is gonna rise up out of these convectors. It's gonna rise as heat naturally tends to do. We all learned it in science class and it's gonna fall as it cools and it's gonna recycle through the RV. Because these are positioned in the walls and the cabinetry, that means it's creating basically a heat barrier on the outside walls. Okay. So you know how sometimes in an RV, the windows are really cold to the touch uh -huh. or you'll feel uh -huh. it in your car? Yes. You don't have that in an RV with the Alda system. So when we do the assembly, all of these pieces and the configuration is going to be different for each layout. That's what I was going to say. So yeah. each manufacturer that you send this to then has to fit it yes, to their configuration. Yeah. We okay. build the puzzle pieces and then we send it to the manufacturer and they build it into the coach. So this is definitely not ever gonna be something that you're gonna see aftermarket because it is within the structure of the RV. But it is a very, very cool, very advanced system and we're super proud to get to be the US distributor for it. A lot of people don't realize that in the US we are Alda, so that's still a pretty right. common you're question. You're an owned and yeah. installer. Yep. Well, not installer, you're Alda. The we owner do the Alda assembly, yeah. And assembly, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so now the final thing we're going to talk about today and probably the most unique aspect or interesting fact about Truma is the climate chamber you guys have here. Tell us more about that one. Yes, yeah, so in the third bay of our warehouse, we have a full climate chamber. It can simulate just about any climate on the planet, whether you're looking at the Everglades as far as you know heat and humidity or the Sahara Desert as far as just heat, bone dry. We can do it all. And one of the things that we are known for and that we offer to our manufacturing customers is cold weather testing. We put it in there and we freeze it out. We get it as cold as we possibly can just to see how well that RV stays warm on the inside with Truma systems on board. So that's yeah. where the Four Seasons comes in. Yeah. A lot of times we as consumers hear, oh, this is the Four Seasons coach. Well, now we're gonna actually learn what that truly means, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So to give you more of the technical information on that, I'm gonna turn it over to my friend Anthony and he'll give you a look inside. Hey, Anthony. Hello. So I hear we've got this ready to go into this. Correct. Okay. Getting ready to back it in right now. All right, let's do it. They're backwards. Okay. I think they should get bigger the further into the outline we go. Wow, this is a big space. 
what is the largest size that you can get in this thing? We can get a full size class A, so okay. up to right around 48 feet long. Gotcha, all right. So how does the testing actually work? So for a test, we'll back a unit in, and then from there we're going to open all the windows. We're gonna set up sensors in five different measuring points within the vehicle, and then optional sensors depending on the manufacturer's request, and then two sensors on the outside to monitor the outside temperature within the chamber. And then from there we'll let it soak for no less than 10 hours. And then after that 10 hour point, I come in, I close up all the windows, make sure everything is airtight, and then I will turn on the appliance that we're testing and allow it to run for depending on the certification we're going for either two hours for silver or four hours for gold okay so which appliances are involved in this test yep if we're doing a heat test it's going to be a combi or a vario heat so we're gonna okay. drop the temperature in the climate chamber to five degrees Fahrenheit and then from there we'll test a heating performance okay. and now for cooling performance for the Aventa or the Saphir any of our air conditioner products we will raise the temperature in here uh, it'll be a about 95 degrees and we can also alter the humidity and so we'll run about 80 percent humidity and same test we'll open up all the windows allow it to heat soak for no less than 10 hours okay. and then come back in close everything up and run the test okay so then when the test is complete i guess the next question is what is the award gold silver and yes. how is that calculated so if the rv for a heat test Right, if we're testing a heater, Vario Heat, a Combi, something like that, it's going to be for a gold certification, four hours, and it needs to start at five degrees Fahrenheit and make it to 68 degrees Fahrenheit within four hours. Oh, I see. Now okay. on a silver certification, we're gonna start out at 32 degrees, so freezing temperature, and then from there we're gonna run it for two hours, and we're still looking for that 68 degrees. Gotcha. If it, if it meets that, then it's passed. Okay. So for the testing, how many manufacturers or companies are actually doing this? Is, is this a requirement to save four seasons or no, how does that happen? So how it would work is uh, let's say a manufacturer just produced a new floor plan and then we created a layout, we chose where the ducting went, we chose which appliance is going to go in, we will help the manufacturers figure out ducting, routings, things like that, and then we're going to prove the system and prove the RV that way. So not all manufacturers do it, there's basic changes and they won't test for proving new systems or proving new vehicles. This is a great tool. Now turn the wheel. Okay, and you're locked in. So now that we've got the vehicle inside, we've closed everything up, it's on and running. Yes. How do you guys monitor that? So we have sensors, and these are the five sensors that I mentioned. Okay. These will be placed within the vehicle on stands. And then we turn these on, we come over to our PC and we make sure that the sensors are reading. We get updated every 10 minutes. We get readings from these sensors. Mm -hmm. And then after that is all done, the test is wrapped up. We download that data and then formulate a report. From there, okay, yes. all right. And what about all the awesome push buttons and everything out here that yes. looks like it's doing something? Yeah, so this is our control center for the chamber. Okay. From here, we can adjust our temperature, our humidity levels. We can also change the duration uh, if we want to uh, only run a test for 25 minutes or okay. let's say six hours. We can control all of the climate chamber operation from this screen. Awesome. Anthony, well, thank you so much for this walkthrough. I really appreciate it. Learned a lot. Great. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, folks, there you have it. So before I wrap this up, first, I want to thank both Jordan and Anthony for taking the time to talk with us today so we can learn more about Truman North America. But still, if you have more information that you would like to know or find out about, how do folks do that? You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Truman North America and visit our website, truma.com slash US to find out more about our facilities here in the States, as well as all the different systems we offer to the North American RV market. Well said, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.